Hello and welcome back to Tech World. We are now on episode four. Uh, if you recall in the last episode, I, I was speaking about uh, clay, uh, uh, this thing, the sculpting tool. I didn't know what it was. I've actually already got one, but that doesn't necessarily matter. What I've noticed is basically you can um, make this thing called the sculpting tool, which allows you to actually make sculptures in quite an interesting way. Uh, it's part of factorization. And if we put it back in here, you can see we've got different uh, versions. So we can see we've got this one, this one. Um, and we could actually even make a... Uh, we could just do all of them, I suppose. And each of them, for instance, this one's got two different modes, which we can alternate um, uh, with each one. But we can't actually alternate the diff, the tool, the whole tool itself. So you do need to have more than... Uh, you know, you need to have a few of them. Um, so put that in there. And there's the remove unrotate one. Um, uh, that's the rotate one, and that's the last one. Okay. We also need to get this thing. So that's just a slab and a piece of clay, a clay sculpture. So we can do that as well. So there's a clay sculpture, and just put them in the order that they came. So we've got one, um, two. Um, well, it doesn't matter, I suppose, really, that much. Um, well, I suppose I can't remember what it is. This uh, cat I don't believe can be made into anything. There is some... Yeah, this is because I looked it up and it's got no function apart from being able to be placed over here. Um, yeah, you can't place it anywhere. It has to be right next to the water. Which is kind of unfortunate because this water is probably going to be used for something else. You know, it makes more sense to have sugar cane here and stuff. Place that there. Okay, so let's move on to this thing here. And of course, I'm still going to build everything here. Um, but you know, like, like I said before, this is going to be very, very kind of leisurely sort of thing. So I'm going to put this clay sculpture, see if I can uh, just jump up and get it here. There we go. I believe. I can actually, I don't need to, you can see there's a wireframe around it here. Um, let me try the, uh, this is the select tool. So I believe that's now got it selected. Aha. Uh -huh. So if we shift right click away from it, Hmm. There we go, we have to actually, it has to be somewhere. So let's change the function of it now. Now we can actually stretch it. Not too far there. How big can we make this thing? I wonder if we get clay balls, that's actually going to increase the distance we can go. My dear. Mm, maybe not. So this is this kind of wet clay and we have to dry it with um, a piece of wool. Um, so this is the rotate tool. Uh, so if we shift, hold down shift, we can rotate it in different directions, yeah. Um, uh, what's that? Remove, and so we've also got unrotate on that. Uh, so how's that going to work? Yeah, it's pretty much night now. Perfect. All right, I didn't want to be clicking some 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 previous episode. I've been clicking for ages on it. Um. Oh, I just destroyed it. 
Well, you know what? Mm. I might have another go in a minute, actually. Let's do... We haven't really got much to build a chest out of. Oh no, more dictionary time, isn't it? I'm sure there's a, there is a copper chest. Oh, we need an actual chest. Okay, I was thinking uh, this is going to be an all dictionary problem, but it's not. All right. Um, I've already got no wood left. Can I make a chest out of rubber wood? I bet I can't. No, well, you can. You can if it's a, if it turns into chunk of wood. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, so let's have a nice copper chest. You know, I don't want to be using a regular chest at all. This chest will. will... Yeah, that's nicer. So we're going to put the uh, sculpting tools in here, um, and like I said, you do need to dry it out with the wool. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with so far um, with what's going on so far. Um, we haven't got much food though. What I'm going to do now, you know, like I mentioned uh, previously, I'm not uh, um, interested in going particularly fast. There are two things that I would point out. Windmill, let's have a look at this, wooden windmill. Iron substrate, wooden cell, canvas. Yeah, that's interesting. Hmm. What if we can make this? About thermopile. I'm just thinking of very low energy stuff at the moment. A big brass might be interchangeable with something else in the old dictionary. I want an iron furnace as well. I was thinking. Um, yeah, one thing I can do now is make an iron mortar. I've been speaking about it for a couple of episodes, so let's just do that. So we need two pieces of refined iron and five stone bricks. Um, well, I've got no iron left at all. I haven't got much of anything. Let's just do this hydrogen gear thing. Um, get some light blue dye. Let me just... Uh, Make a canvas bar. Um, there was actually an item in Zycraft I wanted to look as well. I'm trying to remember which item it was. I've been looking at, through a lot of items recently. Um, it was potentially it was a machine. Hmm. What was it a world I am? Ah, yeah, this is it. So these are the, the best torches in the game. So we're going to need aluminium and a sulfur torch. And they're going to make the best torches. Um, so they're going to be the torches that we want to lead up to. And speaking of torches, actually, um, no, that wasn't what I was looking for. Yeah, there are different things you can do with torches. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what we could do with the torch. 
Well, I think that was a bit, I mean, maybe, maybe that was all I had to say about torches. It may have been something else that to create six torches in a different way. What I'm going to do now, though, is I want to venture out. I've got some iron gear. Um, well, I've got iron sword, so that should be enough. And I've got iron armor. So I'm going to venture out, but I'm going to do it with respect to the uh, distance I am from where I'm actually standing. So I'm going to turn my base back on. I'm just going to have a little, you know, walk about. Maybe get some different types of wood or something. Let's see. So did I not? Did I not just turn it on? All right, so let's venture out, and let's say we're not going to go more than 300 meters away. Just curious what we've got nearby. I know we've got that village we saw in the first episode. Uh, could do with some shears. Uh, it doesn't matter too much, I suppose. I do need to, I do need to get this done. Wait, well, going off like a rocket, aren't you? Um, yeah, I think there are more sheep. I'm not going to kill this one. Maybe the last one, eh? Well, that's unfortunate. Now, I believe we can just do another factorization tool here. Yeah, this is going to be a bit more convenient, I think. So I just want to um, oh not again. Let's, let's get another bed out. Um, I didn't bring my bowls. I just, want to get a few, I just want to get some items here. So we just got some more injury, so it's going to be likely. And I just want to explore the environment. So you can see we're 160 away now. I don't think there's going to be a shortage of food though. I'm not too worried about that. Just want to load up a bit of land, just see what we've got in the uh, vicinity. I guess we could just go 200 away. I don't really fancy ascending that. No. Oh. Well, I don't know how I didn't fall down there. I'm probably going to want another iron pickaxe, so just getting a bit of surface iron isn't a bad idea. Am I going to make it? No. Just get some surface iron. You know, this, oh yeah. So there's some Zycraft stuff as well. But like I say, yeah, so aluminium torches are going to come from the sulfur torches. We, 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 we saw that rotten flesh can actually be used in a projector item, so it's not actually useless, which is cool. Of course, other other, other uses, um, yeah, there have been other uses for it. Uh, you can make it into leather, I think that was one of them. So we're, we're just going a little bit over the 200. I'm going to leave most of these animals alive. It's unfortunate that sheep died, I suppose. All those sheep died. But uh, we'll see. I'll probably be playing this for quite a while, so maybe it'll support there'll be more at some point. Uh, 
Um. Oh, yeah, the interesting thing about leaf piles is that uh, that's the best way to show this. If you go like this, put it down there. In theory, so I'm at a reasonable height here. In theory, if I just land straight. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. I thought it was supposed to negate full damage. I don't know. Um. Seem to do a great job of that. Alright, so this was the village, I think. Is this the same village? Let's just check. No, it's not. This is a different village. Alright, so I guess we'll just um we'll just put them down in uh, that's pretty cool, we've got two villages. We'll just call this village two then. Okay, let's play kind of there. Um, let's see what the apiary guy wants. I've been thinking about how to do the bee stuff. Um, oh, yeah, frozen comb. Ah, I didn't bring any wheat, but I can actually just get some straight from here. Well, probably shouldn't just break them all. We've got, there's got a couple here. Then. I can get a frozen comb. Why not? I get a lot of items from uh, combs. Well, I think that's the, that's the case for all of them, though, isn't it? Yeah. So we put in centrifuge. Snowball beeswax centrifuge. I wonder what the recipe for centrifuge is. Again, it's very cheap. Yeah, it's copper and tin, but I haven't actually got any tin yet. Hmm. There's different recipes, so it's three gets you two there. And then he gets you one there, so it's going to be better to put it in the alloy smelter. I what the recipe for that is. Hmm. You're getting plates is, is, is kind of problematic. Once you get them, of course, you can use them in other things, but... Yes, yeah, this uh, Red power star. Oh well. I wonder if this guy's got unlocked anymore. He should have done. There we go. Prove me for him. Oh yeah, still didn't do the thing with the bloody iron mortar, did I? Oh yeah, because it was because I had no iron, that was why. Right, back off me. All right. I wonder if this got, these guys have got anything that have any use for me at the moment. Glowstone might be nice. Fish. Well, not bad trades. Probably I'm going to do want a little bit more food. I'm not going to decimate this place at this point. 
I'm not, I'm not, it's not like I'm traveling very far anyway. Uh, I, I did need to find some more sheep though. I potentially shouldn't have done that with them. I should have bred them. How far away are we now? Let's just. I didn't remove the base there. Two hundred away here. And what is the benefit of having snow? I wonder. Snow wall. That looks quite cool. Like cream ice. Not a huge amount. What was the rock crusher recipe? A lot of diamonds for that. Mm. It does look cool though. Let's grab a shitload. Might as well. So easy to get an absolute truck for. Well, that's true, you can't really store, take heat much there. No, well. Let's just keep going around this 200 perimeter. Oh, I can't believe I killed those sheep. I really could do with finding a sheep and getting it back there. I need to breed them. That's the most fucking ridiculous thing ever. It's mainly, it's mainly snow around here. We can find some. Let's see if we can find some sheep around here. This would be a nice spot to find some sheep, actually. I can't even get that hive because I don't have any wool. I'm sure I'll be seeing again. I've got some pumpkins here, that's unusual. So I'll grab those. I wonder if they can be used for anything. True. That's true as well. So they're pretty useful actually. We've got some sheep here, obviously. Um, I didn't really bring it, even bring a furnace with me, though. I'm going too far out there. But at least there actually are sheep fairly nearby. That's very good. I wonder if I can actually get them back. What are they liking? Because it changed, didn't it? Looks like this is the way it is at the moment. May as well get these ones there. Bring some more sugar cane back as well. Just to speed that process up a bit.
And there seems to be rubber trees all over the place, so that's not a problem. This might even be another village. Well, every look at it, the villagers are not in short supply. Nor sheep. So that's good. So it's not a huge problem. I am going to need to get a lot more wool though. Um, what are we looking at here? It's 170. Some nice areas around here. I've got some eggs here. Don't want to kill the chickens because um, I might want to breed those as well. I don't want to make the same mistake I made with the sheep. But luckily, like I say, the sheep uh, will not is not going to be a problem. Uh, uh, of course, we'll and of course we'll uh, look into the breeding of that of those. That was another point. We we'll probably want to breed all the animals. At least we got we got sheep, we got cows, and uh, chickens as well. All within that. Uh, 200 raid uh, radius and yeah and as we get a bit close to night here so there's the sun setting in the west did it just set one of the advantages one of the best things I could do I guess is to hope if I could actually see when the sun's setting I mean I can almost see it from here Yeah, I mean, so that way I was able to get much more accurate with it. Um, all right, so we've got some items here. So yeah, it's a good spawn, I think. Um, well, I mean, it's a good area to be in. I could also get some ink sacks while I'm here. Uh, uh, what's the most? Well, I'm not going to want these items. There possibly is a way that I could somehow recycle them, but this is the thing. It's, it's annoying because you always, as soon as you start the game, you always have to be wasteful, and it's very, it's, it's very tricky not to be. Who knows? Maybe I can do it in a, in a future series. That'd be cool. There's pumpkin. What is pumpkin pie actually? Am I drowning here? No. What does pumpkin pie require? That would be nice food to eat. Sugar, which you get from reeds, don't we? Yeah. And eggs. Okay, I could actually make a couple now. I've only got two eggs, but I can make a couple of pieces of pumpkin pie. Um. Yeah. I wonder if I've actually explored all around here. What is, what is uh... Mm, possibly. I prefer it at 0.5, it looks cooler. It's just a little bit more. But yeah, we've got sheep fairly nearby, so I'm not worried about that. Um, what I might do actually is just go uh, and shear a load of them. So let's go back to the base and uh, uh, do that. I mean, of course, I could do that. You know, I could make furnaces out here, but I don't want to. This is why I'm saying so near the base. Yeah, it's very, very, uh, yeah, nice and nearby. I didn't actually realise that was where it came out because I think I have a funny feeling that I didn't actually do this in the, in the way that I actually intended on in doing it. Yeah, this whole hill is basically. Hmm. You see, I come out the other side of that hill. Hmm. 
Oh well. Here we are back at the base. Alright. Didn't get much iron, did we? I haven't even got any coal. Uh, a lot of snowballs there. Um, let's plant these. Um, well, I did not have any resources at all. Let's just, you know, I wonder if I can just get rid of some of my wooden stuff here. Because, I mean, the stuff I threw away was stone stuff that was kind of useless anyway. Why not got some more useless items? Hmm, got that. Because I'm not even going to get one piece, it's not... <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh dear. Alright, I guess we're going to make some pumpkin pie. Uh, no, there's no point. I've still got seven carrots. As nice as these things are, there's not much point having them. I prefer to have sugar cane over here. I can always put them down something like somewhere else. I do need a lot of sand as well. What is that? That looks like sand over there, but it's not. It can't be. So I've just gone around. Oh no, there is a lot of sand here actually. Oh no, it's not nice, snow no, bollocks. We may as well get some sand. I may have to explore further afield there. Yes, I went, what did I go? I went 200 this time, so I can go 400 next time, I guess. So, yeah, I could, um, I've got two pieces of wool, so that's not bad. I can make a scoop at least. Uh, I need one more stick there. Bollocks. Bollocks. Okay. Pretty sure this is this is how you make the scoop, isn't it? Yeah. Now, what is that thing you put in there? Craft. Yeah, the reason why that is like that is to get diamond shards instantly. Um and I probably should make one of these now. Uh, what is the stamper? It's iron. I'm going to redstone, and I don't want to go to redstone level. I want more coal though.
Oh, cool. I need to make this a bridge, really. This will not do like this. That is not a good entrance way at all. I need to do something with this. Uh... Now, what I sort of thought... Um... Pickaxe, do I? <laughs> I believe that. I've got two pieces of wood. We oh, can make a pickaxe. Just about. <laughs> I know we can't, can we? Shit. No, we don't have enough. I left some stuff elsewhere. Actually, of course we can because there was cobblestone in there, wasn't there? So what I'm going to say, right, is I don't want to go any deeper than whatever this level is. 40. Perfect. Okay. So let's not go any deeper than 40. That way I won't... Because I don't want to get any redstone, I don't want to get any diamond. And I'm pretty sure neither of them is going to occur there. So that's good. Alright, so we can make a stone one. And we're good to go from here. Uh, I can't make a chest. So that is not too great. What backpacks do we have available? What do you even make the backpack from? And they all seem to need string, which I don't have. Obviously the forestry ones don't, but that doesn't really matter. Mm. Yeah, I want to make a jetpack, don't I? Basic one's pretty simple. I was actually looking at the LV transformer. If you power it the redstone signal, it can actually output the other way around. That's pretty cool to look at that. Yeah, a lot of these things are very easy to. And, uh, I say easy, but I'm so early game that I'm not, I can't even think about it. I'll just think, I'll just get this one. Why not? Makes more sense to get an early one. But of course, all you, even that will be many episodes away. I don't really want to waste this pickaxe though. So let's get going with... Uh... Yeah, so the first priority is going to be to make that iron thing. Um... The uh, mortar. I'm referring to there. Um... I didn't bring any iron with me. Let's get some iron then. That seems like a good idea. Let's be a bit careful about how we're going to do this. So where is the iron net? Um. Well. 
trying to remember where the actual base is. Is that the base right there? It is, isn't it? Base is just across the river here. What were the coordinates of the base? I was happy with the coordinates of that. So they were um, minus 120 and 63. So how can we get right next to it? So you can see, if we look, go, look right directly south, we're in a straight line to the base here. But we're also quite high up. Because what is the... Um, if we look at the Y point, we can see that the Y point is going to be... Oh, sorry, I looked at the wrong thing. Minus 120, 146. Why does it do like that? It's so annoying. Um, No, sorry, that was correct there. Yeah, the Y is 63. So literally we're in a straight line to the base here. Hmm, let me just check that one more time. Minus 120, 146. All right. So basically, it's about forty blocks over in that direction in a, in a in a perfectly straight line. Where's this guy coming from? All right. Let me just check that one last time because I want to get this really quite nicely done. Minus 120, 146, and then we're at 63. So let's go down about, to be honest, I don't want to go, like I said, I didn't want to go down uh, too far, but I can go down a bit further than this. Iron, awesome. Okay, we should have a decent amount of cobble now. Um, so let me just... Uh, what do I need to do with this? Um, yeah, this is a little bit awkward, actually. Let me just get my um, project table. Did I not even make one down here? Maybe I didn't. No, I think I took it away. Um... I've got my slag furnace here. I don't want this here. I want it, I don't really want... Uh... Yeah, I don't want uh, this at all, actually. Uh, it's one of those things that you kind of do want it because it's used for other items, though. That's the thing. Yeah, that's never a good idea, just to say... I don't want to use this item, so I'm going to chuck it out. But it would be nice if you could somehow do that. Alright, so as far as yield goes, we're looking at this as the best option. Now, this may not... Yeah, it goes much... It's not. It's nowhere near as efficient. An iron furnace is better. But that is, that is pretty good. The iron, fu iron furnace is certainly faster. So that's why I do actually want to make it. Um, yeah, let's make an iron furnace.
Well, <laughs> very interesting. Yeah, they're the same thing. But why would you want to use? I suppose you've got loads. It's easy just to make eight. Um, but seeing as we've got all this stuff here, we may as well just. Uh... Oh yeah, shears, of course. I definitely need those shears. Let's make those before I forget. All right. We didn't quite have enough there. We do actually have a bed here, though. I'm fortunate enough this is a, a safe area. I would like to get a little bit more wood though. Mm. See, this is the thing. Because of the location, it's actually going to make more sense to move to move this stuff here. But basically, that also means I'm going to have to destroy a large area here. Um, all right, so let's just remove this. And remove this as well. Ah, that's not good. I've removed too much now. Well, that's almost, that's on its way out. Hmm. Really? Almost like, well. On that piece of iron there. All right, I'm just gonna have to start putting stuff down then. All right, let's go to where I actually want this thing to be. So we came to the conclusion this is exactly where I wanted it. So even though we might have to move, we're going to put these two furnaces down and put this piece of coal in here. And I can just go get the others, and then I'm just going to get a bit more wood. Okay, let's get some more wood then. Yeah, that's very stupid to it like that. Oh man. That news to death I've been. I don't see how they came from here though. Well, I suppose I can see here. Yeah. Mm, that bone is going to be. Well, I guess we'll chuck the gravel for once. Oh, yeah, the iron mortar, for fuck's sake. I need to. I'll make the iron mortar right now. Hmm. Yeah, that is not the thing I want to get rid of. Let me just make a quick bridge here as well. I may as well. Very quick sort of thing. So we're gonna get a creeper just blow up straight behind me. Let's 
Does that actually count, I wonder? Should do. Alright, well, there's not really any way other way to look at this, unfortunately, but I'm going to need uh, to chop down some trees. Because it's getting a little bit ridiculous at this point. I've got no wood at all. No. Not bad, episode 4, we're already doing this again. One piece of iron, that's fucking useless. Alright, stone axe again. No, fuck it, I'll just do this. No, well that doesn't make sense though. Surely two pieces will be enough for one, for at least to have one go of this. <laughs> this is terrible. Come on, sticks, you can do it. Oh, I should have grabbed it. It's too late. Hmm, this tree's going down. I wish that leaf part thing would work. I don't know if it did. It should do though, it really should. What do I mean to make my chests out of? I want another copper chest really. It's, it's probably all I've actually got available. And I've got exactly enough for another. That's cool. And then I'm gonna try and organise everything I've got so far. And then I'll probably I'll probably do uh, even uh, further organization after that. Night time? Nope. So we're going to see the night time here, I guess, aren't we? It'd be cool to actually have a window in this place just so I could see the sun go down right at the end of it. And that way, if you can see the sun, you know it's about to, to be the end of the day. Alright, so we've got. Okay. Another copper chest. Uh, sort key is set to Y. Mill click is useless. Mm, you don't want to open these files because it actually opens it. Yeah, that might actually be useful. Uh, that might be useful. We'll see.
Well, I want to put some clay in here. I suppose it's not really a good idea to have stuff in the project table. Um. Yeah. Obviously, at this point, we're going to have to mix and match a little bit here. Um. Let's do tool. We'll do. Um, tools and food. Tools and food. Tools, ores, and food. Hmm. There's a point. I've got some sapphires, so I could make some sapphire gear. That'd be handy. I probably will do that actually. Uh, was it control and space or shift and space? This is when things start getting a bit messy. Um, yeah. Well, I guess that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching.